Hey everyone, Jamie here from technicalcafe.com. Welcome to your fourth Java tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about primitive data types in Java, um, another type of variable similar to how we talked about string variables in the last tutorial. And the key difference between primitive data types, which encompass integers, um, longs, doubles, floats, uh, which are just decimal point numbers, and things like that, are that primitive types are actually essentially built into the programming language, unlike the string variables that we talked about in the previous tutorial, as if you recall, they were actually um, made using the string class. So a string variable is technically an object of the string class. Um, but don't worry too much about that for right now. Let's actually go over here to Google Chrome where we have some information about the various uh, primitive data types that we can use in Java. And if you'll notice, most of these have to do with numbers uh, in numeric values. So we have the byte, uh, which is an 8-bit sign to complement integer, and the minimum value of negative 128, and a max value of 127 inclusive. Uh, the short, which is a 16-bit signs to complement integer, minimum value of negative 32,768, and a max value of 32,767. And then we have the ones that are perhaps most commonly used, such as the integer, uh, which has a uh, negative uh, minimum value of negative 2 to the 31 power, and a maximum value of 2 to the 31st minus 1. And this is a 32-bit signed integer. Uh, then there's long, if uh, 2 to the 31st power minus 1 isn't big enough for you. You can use a long, which goes up to 2 to the 63rd minus 1. Uh, a float, which is just a, a decimal point number. Um, and a double, which is also a decimal point number. And these two, um, there's issues with precision depending on which one you're using. Um, so the double is what I tend to primarily use when using uh, floating point numbers, so those are decimal numbers. Um, but just it's good to read up on you know which ones are more precise for what you're using. Uh, it says right here though that the data type, uh, the double data type, should never be used for precise values like currency. Uh, in that case, you might want to switch to float. But for you know basic applications, the double should work fine. I tend to use it the most uh, when writing Java code. Um, then there's boolean, which is true or false, and the character, which we also talked about in the previous tutorial. Um, so these are the primitive data types. They're all built into the programming language. So let's go over here to Eclipse and let's uh, start using them. So if you recall how to define a variable in Java, uh, what you're going to do is give it a name first, and you also have to identify the type. So let's start working with integer variables. So we'll say int, and that's how you define an integer variable. So int, we'll call it int1. So we're going to define the type and then give it a name, and then we're going to set it equal to something. Um, another way to think of a variable is that the variable holds something. So um, a container called int1 holds whatever the val value is on the right. Um, let's give it the value of 10. So let's come over here and let's uh, actually print it out to the screen. So system.out.print line and we'll say int1. So let's come over here and run this after it compiles, of course. And what we get is the value 10 printed out to the screen. Uh, if we were to change this, it would automatically be updated within the print line statement uh, because we're printing whatever is inside of int1. Uh, another thing to remember is that the equal sign does not uh, necessarily mean equality. Uh, it means assignment. So you're assigning the value 12 to int1, not checking to make sure it's equal. Uh, and we'll learn more about that a little bit later on in the uh, tutorial series. So let's go ahead and compile and run. And you'll notice that our print line statement was updated to equal to 12. Um, let's go ahead and see what happens now um, if we were to use a double. So let's say double. And a double, if you remember, is a floating point value similar to float. Uh, I'm just going to go over double in this particular tutorial. Uh, so we'll call this double 1. And we'll set this equal to 10. And let's take a look at what happens when we print out double 1. You'll notice that double one prints out as 10.0 by default, even though we didn't specify 10.0. And that's because doubles are, are numbers that contain decimal points. So we can say 0 0.0 here, and you'll notice that when we go and print it out, nothing will happen. So let's see what happens. See what happens if we try to add something, a uh, decimal point to our integer called int1. So let's come over here and print it out. Int1. And you'll see that we have an error here. Uh, and that is because we have uh, the decimal point within our integer. But let's proceed anyway and see what happens. And you'll notice that we get an, actually an exception uh, in the main method here. 
um, saying unresolved compilation pile type mismatch cannot convert from double to and so um, we can't actually do this right now in Java so let's just go ahead and get rid of that and if we compile and run you'll notice that we have the number 12 here um, so let's see what happens if we try to add these two numbers in Java um, within a print line statement so we have int 1 plus double 1 and you can do things like this in Java um, as long as there's no strings involved the numbers should uh, add together so let's take a look and you'll notice that we get 22.0, so 10 plus 12 is 22, uh, and 0 .0. so it automatically converts it to a double. Uh, let's go ahead and change this value to 10.3, and you'll notice that we have 22.3. So when you're adding two numbers, uh, int and double, it'll automatically convert over to a double in the, um, in the printed out statement. So let's take a look and see what happens now. If we were to uh, create a new variable, we'll call this double and we'll call it do math and we're going to set double uh, the double variable do math equal to let's say double one which is 10.3 plus and now let's just give it a number so we'll say 2.4 and we'll close that statement off there and what we're going to do is print out do math and that is actually a bad variable choice uh, do math would probably be a better choice for a method name but let's go ahead and print this out and see what happens You'll notice that we have 12.7000000001, and uh, the reason for that has to do with the precision of uh, these variables, which is, uh, again, a problem that you're going to want to consider when you're doing math with variables. Um, so that's just something to, you know, keep in mind uh, when choosing whether to use a float or a double or any other type of variable um, amount. So uh, that's about it for this tutorial. Please feel free to tune in for the next one. If you have any questions, you can post them down in the comment section below. Um, and for this one, we're just going to focus on the ints and doubles. These are primarily, you know, the numeric values that we use the most, or that I personally used the most when I was programming in Java. Um, later on in the tutorials, we'll talk about Booleans and uh, other things like that. But uh, for now, this is it. Please feel free to let me know if you have any questions, and thank you for watching.